What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I have the two colors for the Google Pixel 2 XL here. I have the black and I also have the white. Now the white's been extremely difficult to get uh, to the point where it's been, uh, you've had to wait weeks uh, to get that color. I bought my wife's on Swappa, which is a site you can buy different phones and devices on, tablets, smartwatches, things like that. And the black one still is pretty easy to get. If you want the white one right now, Verizon is a really good place to get it, especially if you have Verizon or a friend that has Verizon, it's an unlocked device. But anyways, let's talk about the colors. First of all, you can see the colors on the front are exactly the same, they're black. There's no difference in the color. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the little bit of white edge going around the phone. You might even be able to see that orange button on the right here, but otherwise it's black everywhere. On the side, you see the orange button and then the mine's just black. So there's complete difference right there. My Mine's black basically everywhere and then hers is going to be panda looking so you can see the rest of the phone right here you do get the white and, and the materials are different on the back too the white is real smooth almost feels like kind of like a plastic feeling to it and then the black is a little bit more rugged a little bit more of a grippy feel it's definitely easier to grip the black one versus the white one but overall i think the look of the phone i think it looks better in white i, I used to not like that orange button on the side but i don't know it gives it flair it gives it character i would i i would like it to be uh, a teal color i think that would look awesome the teal color more so than the uh hey look at me almost looks like an emergency button on the side but they're great looking i, I mean the phone kind of got bad reviews in terms of the way it looks uh, for last year and this year i still think it looks like a good phone i think the white one looks a lot better than the black one i wish the white one would have been easier to get at when i bought it, it ended up immediately selling out pretty much even though i was there right when it started uh, also you can see down here the google buttons uh the the this is like silver almost like mirrored looking really stands out versus this one down here it's kind of harder to see on the black uh, but you can definitely see it just doesn't look uh, as it doesn't stand out as much fingerprint sensor matches the rest of the phone on each on each phone you get white on the white and then black on the black it's black at the top as well with a mirrored mirrored look to it but, and then it's just it looks great i like the white one i do like the black one too but i think the white one does look better my wife ended up getting the 64 gig version this is a verizon model but it's being used on at&t because it's unlocked completely it's literally the same phone it just comes with a, uh, a, a Verizon SIM card. You don't use it, you're fine, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything. But they look great. It feels different in your hand. I don't know, good phones, good, they're really fast. And uh, if you're gonna go, if you're looking for the colors, these are definitely uh, two cool looking colors. If you asked me, like I said, I'd go white. Black looks good, just not as good as the white one. But overall, they're the same exact phones. Everything's the same, just the color is different. The material on the back is different for sure. This isn't slippery to the point where you're gonna drop it. Most people are gonna put cases on there anyway. If you wanna pick either of these up, you can get them on Google Store or Verizon or Best Buy. Those are the like, only places you can buy it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you down the road. Peace.